Hey guys, come on in. Come on, Rio. My name is Alyssa. This is my bus, Monarch, and I live full-time on the road with my dog, Rio. I went through a period of pretty heavy loss in my early 20s, and I found myself really reevaluating what I wanted to do with my life. And I realized living in a bus would minimize the chaos in my life and it would force me to get back to the nitty gritty, what was really important, right? So it's a bit more minimalistic. I have to reconnect with nature. I'm forced to do these things that I knew were gonna be really healthy for me. I just wanted to give myself a shot at a life that felt better than the corporate world or what was expected of me. I bought my first bus in 2017, having never picked up a power tool in my life. I actually lived in it unconverted for six months. So it was just a tin can. It wasn't built out. It wasn't off-grid capable. The bus was almost an exterior representation of my internal growth and evolution. So I slowly built my first bus with a contractor and then lived in that for a couple of years. And after living on the road, I was discovering new sides of myself that I never even knew existed and it was a really empowering experience and as I grew I realized that my needs and wants were also shifting. I let go of that first bus at the beginning of the pandemic because during the pandemic like a lot of us my small business died <laughs> so I had to make a big life change so I wanted to start a new bus build and I wanted to be more involved in the build process myself because living in my first bus, I realized I was capable of so much more. I knew that building my second bus, learning the skills is something that I could take with me for the rest of my life. It would allow me to use those skills for other people too, to show up for the people I love more. So it's just a new personal challenge for me and it's been amazing because the second bus I feel really represents who I am and the growth that I've had, even just in the technology, understanding off-grid capabilities in my building skills. Yeah, and just who I am. Before I lived in a bus, I felt really disconnected from the people around me and I was really desperate just to connect and find my people. And it's amazing because we all have these very unique and different rigs, but every single one of us who's living nomadically or chooses to build a bus or a van, we all came to a point in our lives where we decided we didn't align anymore and that we were gonna take our shot and live differently. And that camaraderie fosters this deep sense of community, which is so inspiring and it's really helped healed me a lot and this second bus build i was so lucky enough to be able to build it with chuck cassidy and ben jackson from chrome yellow corp and they are two of the most talented builders and they were kind enough to show me to teach me along the way so they knew that i had this sense of wanting to empower myself with learning just building skills construction and to be able to learn from the best and create this tiny house for myself was an incredible experience to build something with a lot of intention and to understand the value of the materials of the color and how they all come together it can make or break a space right there's so much life that happens in these walls. This is the stage for my life. So I want it to foster creativity, inspiration, love, community, which is why the layout is this way. It's very easy to host, but it's also very relaxing with the earthy tones and the live plants. It's all very important because the bus is really just the catalyst for the life that I want to live, right? It's not about the bus, it's about the life that happens within it. So the aesthetics were extremely important to me. It's very different to be a woman living in a bus than a man. The expectations of you are still very different, especially because I'm breaking the norm. You have no idea how many times I've pulled up to a diesel pump, slid out of the driver's seat, and the gentleman across asks me if I'm driving it. I'm like, sir, you just watched me get out of the seat. <laughs> It emboldens me, it empowers me. It also gives me a very unique perspective of how I can show up as a woman to other people. 
people who identify as women, we are so much more capable than we give ourselves credit for, let alone the absurd expectations of the world around us. And if we just indulge it, it's magic. You know more than you think. That little tug inside of you, you have to go for it. But we're each called to something very different and you never know the beauty of life that can unfold if you indulge it, right? So even if it doesn't have to be as dramatic as changing your entire life and moving into a bus, but maybe it's picking up a certain hobby or deciding to change jobs. And that one little action will just create this domino effect. There's going to be new opportunities that present themselves that you never imagined. There's going to be new life paths that you never even saw for yourself unfolding. And there's going to be people that you never even imagined that you're going to meet. And life all of a sudden becomes magical again. And it feels worth living when you're indulging your calling. And I think it's incredibly important because if more people felt aligned with themselves and what they were doing, I think we would be able to show up for each other in a lot more meaningful way and the world would be a better place. On the internet, I go by regretless because it's a play on my name, but it's really a theme to my core of, I just have to go for it. Women just have to go for it. People just have to go for it because there is, there's no guarantee and to regret less in life is so important and people regret what they don't do more than what they do. So to just send yourself into the magic that is life and to just go for it because you can always change things again. People have this weird block with fear where they just like, oh, I can't do that, but why? To be able to just use fear almost as a compass is a really incredible experience.